One way to motivate a person to write is to let them know that their writing is going to be shared with others. Here's a tip to get your kids to really want to write. Create a website. Oftentimes, students that know that their work is going to be shared online are very excited to start writing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a free Joomla website. So let's get started. We're going to be creating a website on Joomla.com. So let's go there. Now that we're on Joomla.com, we're first going to enter our desired subdomain. This will be our URL for our website. Test demo 17. See if that works. Joomla.com and then I'll put in my email address and a password. Click to agree to the terms and push launch your website. Now that I've signed up for a free Joomla.com account, I will go to, to my email address. You will receive an email from Joomla.com with a verification link. Click it to activate your account. Now that the account has been activated, we can sign in to the Joomla.com customer area. I've now logged in to the Joomla.com customer area. In the future, I can log into this same area by going to Joomla.com, pushing login, and then putting in my email address and my password that I chose. If I click settings over here, I can change the template of the website. I can also look at my login information. Now this is a little bit different. What I can do is I can go to the website that I set up, testdemo17.joomla.com, and then I can push put front slash administrator. At that point, I can put in the login info that I can find here and access the back end of my site. Or I can just put up, push on this access admin button. Now I'm in the back end of my site. I usually also like to open up the front end of my site so that I can go back and forth between the back end and front end as I am making my edits. Here's what the site looks like. And here's the back end, back to the front end. I'm going to start off by changing the title because I just don't like the way this test demo 17 looks right off the bat. For that, I'm gonna need to get a logo. So I'll click on a new tab and go to cooltext.com and I will pick one of these neat looking logos. I will put test demo 17 in there. I can right click it, save image as. It's going to be called cool text and this long number. That's fine by me. And it's in this PC picture saved picture. So I'll have to remember that. Okay. Now I go back to Joomla to the back end and I'm going to click extensions, templates, styles. There are two templates that I have to choose from here. I'm going to, I'm currently using this ProStar default. You can tell because there's a star here. I'm going to push on ProStar default, click advanced, go to logo, push select, and then I'm going to scroll down, choose files, grab my cool text file, start upload. Okay, there it is. I click on it, push insert, push save, and now my homepage should have my new logo. There it is. The next thing that I like to do is to add a few, I'll push close here, add a few images into media. So here I go to content, media, and I pick whatever images I want to upload. Choose files, and maybe I want this one if I hold down control, I can select a couple of these at the same time, push open, and then start upload. Okay, I now have my two new images here. I can use these when I create my first article. The next thing I like to do is create a category. So I'm coming to category, content, categories, new category. And this one will be test cat, we'll call it. And it has no parent, it's gonna be at the very top. I don't need to do to put any description in there. And the alias can just auto-generate from the title. All right, now I have the title and the alias is test cat. 
and it is published. It's actually a category. Close this. And now I'll come to menus and I will go to the main menu, add new menu. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select menu type, article. And for this one, I think I want anything that is in my new category to go into this menu. So I'll put category blog and I'll choose my test category. And then I'm gonna title the menu test cat and save it for now. All right, so here's what our homepage currently looks like. We have this test cat that we can go to, there's nothing there. And we have this page here. So now we're gonna go and work on our articles. Close that. To go to articles, we push content, articles, add new article. And I'm going to put, call it my first article. And it doesn't matter what I say, this is a test. This is a test. Okay, over here at category, I'm gonna put that into my test category. And if I wanna put an image in, I can click here and on images. And as you can see, the image that I uploaded earlier is available. I can put that there and push save. Okay, now if I come back to, I'm just gonna close out of this. I could push save and close, but I haven't been doing that. Now. If I was just to go to articles and push the articles button, it would take me here. You'll see that the getting started article is already on the homepage right here. And I don't want that there. So I'm gonna click the arrow and that simply turns it off. But now if I go back to the homepage, you'll see that there's nothing there, but there's an article in my test category. So in order to make this article go to my homepage, I need to come back to menu main menu. Instead of making home the start menu, I need to make test category the start menu. So now you'll see that we have home that still can't be found because there's no articles there anymore. I took all the articles out. And if I click on the title of my website, it says test category now. That's my main category. If I want to get rid of home, I can simply uncheck this. So we'll get a red X there and refresh and now that's the only article that's there so congratulations now we've put our first article into our new website and you just repeat this process to continue putting articles up next i want to get rid of this image here so let's see where that's at we're going to go to extensions modules and the image is here in the image module and there it is now i could replace that image with any other image that i want to show in that same position and note that position is position three, it's called on this particular template. If we had a different template working, it might be in a different position. Like this is for the ProStar template and there's the Bees 3 template we could have chosen and it, that might be in a different position for that. So what we're gonna do here is I'll just close that and I don't want this image module working right now. So I'm just going to turn it off by clicking the arrow. If we come back here, you'll notice the image is gone. So that's really the basics of getting started with a free website from Joomla.com. The free version is a bit limited in that you can't add extensions, but it is very easy to upgrade from there. You can just go to the Joomla.com panel and press upgrade. At $3.95 a month for the website hosting and a domain from SiteGround, I think it's a pretty good deal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit techteacherzone.com.